Greetings wonderful viewers. In this video, I am going to go over some of the things you can do to reduce hot flashes. Well, a hot flash is basically, if you haven't experienced one, woo, but if you're watching this, you probably have, but basically, it is when there's a drop in your estrogen levels when your body is going to, when you're going through menopause, and when there's a drop in your estrogen, somehow it causes the hypothalamus, the part of the brain that's responsible for your appetite and your sleep cycle, and somehow it malfunctions. Your body temperature drops like maybe, I think, like one degrees, and then there's a message that goes to your body. Oh my God, we gotta, we gotta heat her up. She's just gone, you, even though your body has only dropped one degrees, and therefore, the the heat is produced to warm you up oh, it is such you on fire usually when I have a hot flash I imagine myself jumping into a huge snowbank completely with without my clothes and I always see the snowbank starting to boil that's that's serious I'm talking about the Detroit back in the day snowbanks that are like and I would jump in and it's like oh and you know it didn't really help it's like they're really bad so um, basically my face sometimes just catch fire or on my neck and I start to sweat profusely and any woman who's gone through it would tell you it is not fun but there are some things you can do to reduce the frequency and the intensity of your high flashes so the first thing you should do to prevent a high well I don't want to say prevent but to reduce and that would help with help you um, if you're having hot flashes is to dress in layers. So basically, I, I, once I started going through menopause, I like to wear a lot of cotton dresses. So I mean, like the kind of material that you would make, like a like you know, like a t-shirt knit or just something cotton and light because I need something cool to my skin and like no wools or or anything um, what do you like did you make sweaters out of oh god no mm -mm. I can't take anything around my neck cotton oh nice cool cotton so you might want to also um, layer that with a nice um, cotton light sweater and then um, sometimes maybe a vest but if you wear your clothes in layers once you start to go to go through a hot flash you can just easily just take off a piece but this is the thing when you have a hot flash and your body heats up and you start sweating profusely sometimes you, you have a cold flash after that because now you're wet and your body starts to cool down and you're just like oh my god I'm just going crazy so dressing in layers is one way to help you maintain your hot flashes the second thing that you should do to reduce hot flashes and this is what works for me by the way um, I have found that eating less fast food or I, I don't think I eat a lot of processed food but staying away from like you know just fast food in general for some reason no matter what I'm eating, if I'm making it at home, I feel better. I'm not kidding. Like, I remember, I don't want to, like, say a restaurant's name and then it looks like I'm, you know, picking on somebody. Because that's not true at all. But for some reason, when I eat fast food, my body, I have more hot flashes. And I, so I noticed that pattern for myself. So one of the things that you should do as well is when you have a hot flash, pay attention to your what you were eating and what you were doing. Um, you also, for another thing is, in my house, which drives everybody crazy, is no heat. Even, even in the dead of winter, I cannot stand heat because being in a warm room causes me to have a hot flash. So if possible, keep turn off the heat if possible um i also i have a fan i have a fan right here like right next to me right now i keep a fan next to all of my computers all over the house as a matter of fact next to when i'm watching tv or my exercise but everywhere i am there is a small fan um the next thing you can do to help with hot flashes is drink water you know what I don't know why but I am addicted to smart water and 
Oh God, Smart Water is like heaven. I'm not. I, I have tried all of the other brands, but it is the only water that I feel like I'm addicted to it. And since I've been drinking it consistently, I have noticed a reduction in my hot flashes. And like sometimes I'll feel a hot flash coming on, but mm, I get my Smart Water. And that sucker is gone in no time. And so, and I drink about three of these a day. I just love it because it's crisp. And by the way, nobody is paying me or sponsoring this video. This I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Um, another thing you can do to help with your hot flashes is stay away from alcohol. Like in the past, I mean, I love red wine. Seriously. And once I started, I mean, I didn't, I noticed that when I stopped drinking as much red wine, because I would drink about two or three glasses a day. It was, I mean, I, I'm just, I loved it. I mean, I had a box and I loved the black box and I would keep it like close by. And I thought we were like friends and I don't know what happened, but I started pouring glasses and before and I would end up pouring them down the sink and I didn't know why but I also noticed that when I stopped drinking as much wine there was a big decrease in my hot flashes and some people say if you stop drinking caffeine that this will also reduce like like hot tea and hot, hot coffee has been known to cause hot flashes in some in some women now for me personally I drink a lot of green tea white tea and it doesn't affect me but red wine or any type of alcohol it does but so anyway so stay away from alcohol and um, another thing you can do to reduce your hot flashes is take certain supplements like I used to take yams as y-a-m-s I mean sometimes you would think like yams a supplement yes or eating yams um, also I would take this um, Vitex Vi Vitex really helps and black cohosh black cohosh really oh, that really works another thing that I have found that re reduces hot flashes tremendously is not placing my cell phone next to my ear. <clears throat> so when someone call me, I immediately put my phone on speaker because the something about that cell phone when it's next to my face, it causes me to have hot flashes. I know, right? So even if it's a landline, I don't put any technology close to my face or to my body if I can because I notice that it causes my body to heat up. Meditation also reduces high flashes. Like I'm, I know people sometimes, if you're not a person who meditates, just simply um, what you want to do is take your tongue, have your, have your, place it at the top of your mouth, like right behind your teeth, like that, right at the top. Okay? And then what you want to do is take a deep breath, follow my tongue to the top of my mouth, and you know, take a deep breath and count to nine. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you want to blow it out through your mouth through the count of nine. If you do that at least 10 times a day or like when you feel a hot flash coming, you will be surprised at how it instantly cools your body down. So that, you know, I don't know if that's a meditation, that's more of a breathing exercise. So I would say let's just call that the breathing exercise and then also meditation. So meditation is basically, I don't know, everybody has their own way of doing it, but for me, I usually I hold my fingers like, you know, this. Let's see if you can, I don't know if these are in camera and focus or not. Like this. And um, I find a comfortable position and I just quiet my mind. I literally, some for me, I, I have a, a vivid imagination. So a lot of times I'm, you know, hiking like in the mountains or I'm watching the sky and I'll just 
calm down and just let everything just fade away and for, it calms I can feel my entire body relax so if you can just find like 10 or 15 minutes every day to just simply meditate which is just sitting down um, and just thinking about nothing so whatever thoughts come if you try to push them away they'll push back harder so just let it flow by so and just let your mind clear and it relaxes your entire body and this also reduces high flashes so one is meditation and another is the breathing exercise you're breathing in through your nose and you're holding to the count of nine and then you're um, letting it out through your mouth to the count of nine and you do that ten times and you will notice that you will feel so much better doing yoga and um, aerobic exercise also reduces hot flashes so for me um, I have like I think what's her, I think her name is Denise Austin and she has these little videos and she has like these 10 minute little exercises I love her stuff you can buy it off of Amazon again nobody is telling me to you know do this or sponsor this I'm just telling you what I do it's a DVD I, I had it when it was originally it was a, a video cassette and you just pop it in and it's like she moves you through it quickly all you need is a little space in your home to do it like right before you go to work or when you come home and then also I have like a little exercise bike that was uh, like maybe 200 bucks that I keep in my room and I like to um, ride my exercise bike and read Harry Potter mm -hmm. I love reading on my it's like the kind that you sit down a little exercise bike I like to read for like an hour listen to some really good music but it's my reading time I call it my special time so doing activities like this really it relaxes my entire body but it also reduces the amount of hot flashes that I experience so I hope some of the tips that I've given in this video can help you um, with your hot flashes and if you have any ideas or suggestions about how to reduce hot flashes please leave them in the comment box below thank you so much for watching